and that's how the gist was on Hangout. But now we're doing it physically, and uh, we're being joined by John Adeneko. Mm -hmm. He's a social media commentator. Yes. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me here. All right. So um, did it come as a surprise to you that the ruling party has now become the opposition party? Um, no. No, not actually. If, if you are a, a very conversant person with the political process, you know it was going to come. We didn't just know how it was going to come about, but we saw it coming. And so here it is. Okay, so now we have um, other parties, opposition parties, mm -hmm. and they say the opposition keeps the ruling party in check. Yeah. Uh, let's go down memory lane a bit. Would you say APC was... Uh, there are other parties. We have Labour Party yeah. and, you know, we have COA and all that. Sure. Would you say these opposition parties were really keeping PDP in check? Uh, yes, to an extent. Um, you remember APC is a result of a merger between basically three legacy parties, the AMPP, the ACN, and the CPC. And then if you look at the actions of those parties prior to their merger, you saw them putting PDP on their toes. And then when they came together, they became a more formidable force. And then PDP, on a number of times, have to come and refute claims that a APC keeps bringing. You will recall, uh, uh, the man, the, the spokesperson for APC, uh, it was a tug of war between him and the spokesperson for PDP all through. And then I'm sure the aggregation of all this activity uh, was a, a fierce um, confrontation to PDP and they were really not prepared for it. So uh, uh, do you think that uh, though there's a need for a merger for PDP to be strong enough to keep APC on their toes? Um, incidentally, PDP, as it is now, uh, is a party that has been spoiled with power. Sorry to use that language, but that is the truth now. If you go back to memory lane again, you will see that uh, before this present merger of opposition parties that has now come to become ruling parties, they went solo on different occasions and haven't seen their folly of going alone. They realized that no, none of them has the power to fail the mammoth that PDP was then, and so they had to come together. So what I foresee in the immediate now is PDP t still trying to, to show that they still have like, that structure, they still have that uh, hair of invincibility. I'm sure by the time they try it once or twice and it's not working, they will have to fall back to Maja. Do they have four years? I mean, it's just four years before the next, next election. Okay. So do they have that time to do trial and error if they can do it on their own before they approach the other parties? Uh, unfortunately, the, the behavioral approach of an average Nigerian politician he carries an hair of, uh, of, uh, of this, uh, there's an hair of ego around him, such that it's always almost late before they realize their real value on the street. So that's why I'm proposing that even there might be musings around mergers and uh, things like an alliances. Ordinarily, I don't see it happening even in the next four years. And unfortunately, too, the more a party stays in power, the more it becomes stronger. And then it becomes harder for the opposition to challenge. Um, I only hope that uh, PDP will take a cue from the strategy that uh, the now ruling party used and then be able to bring in as many people that are willing to work with them in and then try to challenge because uh, we must be sincere. Opposition helps the nation to get the best out of the party in power. Or, or maybe we're, we're even looking down on the other parties. Perhaps another party or other sets of parties will come together and form even a third party. After all, it, it's not compulsory that we should have a two-party uh, state in Nigeria. Uh, yes, I, I wish it could be that easy. Uh, but this is Nigeria. We know how things happen. We know what it takes to win an election in this country. Remember that it is not always a Tea Party. Even for the ruling APC now to win, there had to be an implosion of the PDP. For weeks, this so is you can imagine that PDP not getting their acts together. I mean, how do you come to talk about smaller parties? They, I, I don't see them in the scheme of things as it is now except they come together and form an alliance or a merger or whatever 
with PDP. But is I think, it safe for Nigeria to have a two-party system? Is it safe? I, um, for well, Nigerians, I mean. I think for now, I think it's the best that we can have. Uh, you remember, you know that uh, our multi-ethnic nature uh, tends to give room for regionalism. And so the multiplicity of parties we also tend the polity towards that end when we have too much political party. You remember, those parties that came to form APC2 were mostly viewed as regional parties. And until they could shed that toga and come together to present a national outlook. Even till now, I'm sure there are places where they are so weak that they don't have a strong hold. So if the ruling parties still have that outlook, how much more for these other smaller parties? So that's why I keep saying that. We need an opposition party, but for now, let it be a two-party uh, system. Not closing the door totally on the other ones. They can be on the sidelines doing their thing and see how far they can go with it. All right, John, thank you so much for sharing your time with us on the BIM, Channel BIM. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay, all right. Well, we'll just take a break now. When we come back, we'll take your messages and your five top videos, those videos that you viewed the most in the past week. I intend to keep my oath and serve as president to all Nigerians. I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. As activities for the presidential inaugural week rolled out, Views on the video of President Muhammad Buhari's acceptance speech following the March 28th elections jumped up, making it the fifth most viewed video in the past week. Comedian Bovi's rib cracking jokes at the Vanguard Band of the Year Award in 2014 continues to get views as it was the fourth most viewed video. Sometimes I they wish make God just scatter everything. Take everybody's destiny from them. Come scatter them for grants. They make we start again. Then go take a defining destiny. No, no, say I don't match them. I don't match them for grants like this. Right after that is former First Lady of Nigeria, Patience Jonathan's emotional outburst regarding the kidnapped Chibok school girls. This was the third most viewed video in the past week. Chai! At the number two sport is the Emo State Baby Factory. I didn't know that the baby would be sold out. So on 24th of November 2013, I gave birth to a bouncing baby girl that was promised to be given 100,000 naira. Protect and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Yeah. 
The presidential inauguration ceremony in which Muhammad Buhari and Professor Yemi Shibajo became Nigeria's president and vice president respectively is the most viewed video in the past week. That as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law. Those were the comments you sent to our Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus pages, as well as the top five videos you watch the most on our YouTube channel. The role of opposition is vital if any sitting government is to perform its duties according to the laws of the land, as well as campaign promises. And for Nigeria's maturing democracy to continue maturing, it is important that a strong opposition be formed to check the APC administration. This is where we draw the curtains on today's edition. However, the conversation continues online via the addresses showing on your screen. Thank you for watching. Once again, I am Amy Thompson. Thank you.